In this Tropo Quick Start Guide video, I will show you a very simple example on how to send a text message to another phone. In this example, I'll be using some JavaScript code. The code looks just like this. As you can see, it's very simple, three lines. We're going to call my phone number, 1407-455-1212, and using the network SMS, so it'll be sending a text message instead of a voice call. And in my say, which will be the message that's delivered to the phone, don't forget you're meeting at 2 p.m. on Wednesday. Three lines, very simple. So if I run this code, it should send me a text message with that message. And now back to the application manager screen. As you can see, I assigned a phone number to this application. Uh, this will be very important for any text messaging application, whether it's expecting an inbound or uh, sending an outbound text message. This is how the carriers establish the routes to deliver the messages. And there's also a shortcut in the application manager here where you can launch your application just by pressing this launch button and it will launch the appropriate token assigned to your application. And I'm going to click that now and then we can see how it results. And there's the message received. Don't forget you're meeting at 2 p.m. on Wednesday, just like it was specified in the application. Now, what if we'd like our Tropo application to respond to a text message? The end user is replying to us, perhaps to confirm an appointment. Now, if we use the current call initial text property, that will capture the user's response, and then we can respond accordingly. In this simple example, if the user responds yes, our application will send them the message, awesome, thank you. If they text us no, the application will send them, well, that's just too bad. And if they send us any other response, the application will say, that's not an option, sorry. Now, let's map this code to our tropo.com application manager. As you can see, that I've done that here and I do have a phone number assigned to it. And let's go to my phone and see what happens when we text e either one of these. Now, based on that JavaScript code that we mapped into the application, if we reply to the application with yes, it responds appropriately. Now, let's see what happens if we send it something it's not expecting. That wasn't an option, sorry, which is also the appropriate response. And let's see if we were how it responds to no. Again, it responded appropriately.